Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is Mario Kart Part 3. Today, we're going to choose a random CC, and we're going to play as Ludwig. I'm playing as the wrong file, one second. Alright guys, now that I'm at the right file, we're going to pick a random CC. Now how this is going to work is if it's 50cc or 100cc, it is a random cart. And we're playing as Ludwig, and I already mentioned Ludwig. And if, but if it's 100cc, 150cc, Mirror Road, or 200cc, we're gonna get a ran. we're gonna be able to pick the cart setup. So let's see which cc it is. Huh, uh, what cc is it? 100cc. Now this is just the main player me, so I don't think getting a, a person revealed. Boom. Ludwig. Cool. Ludwig. Cool. But actually, we have to get a random setup. So let's go. For the cart or bike. The bone rattler. Nice. For the wheels. The monster wheels and for the shoot. Oh no, slam the wheels then. Okay, that was actually an accident. And the paraglider. Nice, nice, nice. We got the bone rattler, the slim wheels, and the paraglider for today. We're gonna go for the star cup. Let's do it, guys. I'm kind of glad we got 100 cc because it's gonna be pretty easy. It's not like fast. It's like fast. I'm sorry, but the idea of Mario Kart 9. So I'm gonna have a main bag and talk about my picks for the roster, like character roster, as I did with Mario Golf, and Mario Golf games coming up in the past couple of videos. I talked about my picks for the roster, and also some picks for the Mario Kart 9 roster. Or maybe Mario Kart Switch edition, Mario Kart Switch. Mario Kart 9 Mario Switch. I don't know. Anyways, um. I guess we're gonna do Mario Golf games, I'm not very soon, from my favorite video, but it was just revealed. Yo, boomers, no nothing surrounding Mario Golf games were actually revealed in Nintendo Direct. And if you notice, in Nintendo Direct, I lost actually boring. Well, Nintendo Direct was kind of boring, it's not because I was sorry, actually, I wouldn't scream when I saw Sorry, 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 the best Zelda game in my opinion. So, yeah, it's the same. Pretty freaking amazing Zelda game. Um, but honestly, not too big on other people's but I can understand that. But, the Skyward Sword Joy Cons, the boy. The Skyward Sword Joy Cons look so sleek, right? I'm buying a pair, and I'm gonna play Skyward Sword on the channel when it comes out. So, be ready for that, guys. Um, I'm also gonna be playing Mario Golf game, probably Mario Tennis Aces at some point, Super Mario Party with Game Bomber. And obviously, I'll be doing challenge videos for a bunch of other games, so look forward to some new amazing content from me and Game Bomber in the coming few months of these games. You know, Miitopia also. If you can have one, we do a for her Switch, because, yeah, but if you can have one, we do a for Switch, you know I'm gonna be doing some bunch of games with characters. I already have Team Benji and Power Marie on me. So yeah, but I want to do a video with my family, so like, me is that I made with my family, so I just made them actually, like, probably yesterday-ish? No, actually Monday. Um, yeah, I made them also Patrick's Patrick Sega, pretty recent. So yeah, they're new, like, they're brand brand new. Obviously, you guys should know what we look like, so like, I'm never gonna, not actually gonna use those names. Um, I'm gonna make a bunch of games. So probably make one of Nifty, make one of other bunch of characters, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, who's a quarter, pretty simple, but you know, it's just up to who you want to ask, really. Do you, are you excited for each other? Me? Yes, I only played one time, because Game Bomber owned it for the S, but he never played it, so he was playing it. By the time he was done playing it, I was interested in it, and yeah, I was interested in it, and it was just because I switched to Mario. That's how I spoke to him, it was just because I switched to because the only thing he asked for for Christmas, Christmas 2019, was a Nintendo Switch and Mario, and Mario Maker 2, so that's what I got. So, yeah. But, like, I didn't get this Christmas at all, I got it from my own hard work and saving my money and dedication to what I wanted. 
I wanted to start playing on Hotline. She was playing with her basketball for my birthday. Then she told me because it like came out like close to my birthday, and I knew it was like, come on, please, I know it. And then, then I'm like, yeah, but when I get the switch, I saw it, you know, I get it. So yeah, I just played it for my best. Oh no, play ads, switch. So I was playing three other, three other. I played it, but I didn't play a lot. I didn't play on Mayday. I didn't play. I only played on like Monday, but obviously I played on Monday. Monday was one of the best. Favorite best. Online people were playing about it. It was one of the best nights. And it was awesome to see. But I loved it. It was amazing. Yes, it makes me a little lonely. I was sick of it. Sky eggs. Sky time actually played. Like the Monday event. So obviously I had late. But my game just didn't feel fine at that point. The Monday event was actually late. So what I did get to play on Monday. Like, honestly, it was fun. But like I had to buy all of my sky eggs because the sky eggs were so annoying. Single water eggs. Like they never showed up for me because I was never fishing when they were too low fishing. And he's just dancing. He's just dancing. Yeah, he's happy watching us. He just did more streams and posted to your channel of Animal Crossing Horizons because that's what really got me to buy the game to stream along with filming Millie's video. That's what really got me to make to make to buy the game or to ask for the game. Um, yeah, <coughs> because those stupid games in Millie's were like so good, and I love watching other people play games. Just asking why I like to buy the game, obviously, for no reason. Final race. And did you know that this one's actually impossible to do with um a red cup to red? Yeah, which is so weird. Honestly, I think it's all the entire Star Cup's impossible to do without touching red. I guess I did that video. The boost is orange, so like it's not like there's an impossible boost to dodge or anything like that. And for the zero tracks, it was actually impossible for me to um do it consistently. Like I could dodge the first spin red and then hit the second spin red and get the orange so fast. So like that's kind of because this is speed in that video. If I do this once, but never again, I'll be happy. I can't do this impossible. Impossible. But, like I just want to do this. I want to see if you could actually see where is the impossible part. But remember again, consistency is key. So like earlier, it was also you know, thought that it was impossible to not touch red, but I realized it was impossible. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Right here, this is right here, the red line in the middle. I kept running into it, and this is the red line. I kept running into it, and the red border. I either hit one or the other, but I could never do it consistently. If this ending part single-handedly made this track possible, this one part made this track fully impossible, which is like super exciting for me. I love this track. It's a great track. If I were to rate my favorite tracks on this, it would be my top five favorites of all time in that one video. But like, in that video, it wasn't in my top five favorites. It was out of my top five favorites of all time. It's on the same like TikTok one. If, if I had to list my top ten favorites of all my videos, that would be all Luigi. Pinball, Coconut Mall, um, Airship Fortress, like the classics from Mario Kart DS, the first Mario Kart I actually ever played. In like Mario Kart 7, had two of the most amazing tracks ever created, Old Luigi Pinball and Coconut Mall. And it was just like a magical experience to play those tracks, but like TikTok Crocodile would obviously be one of them. Neo Bowser City is obviously one of them. So like, if I could put 10 of my favorites of all time into one track, there is no way that I would put in Mount Wario because there's so many better tracks in in this game. So anyways, one more CC. Mirror mode! Oh my, oh my, oh my. So now we're gonna play as Cat Peach. Speaking of Airship Fortress, <laughs> we're gonna use the Waddle Wee, and we are also gonna use lots of people want special items back. I actually wouldn't mind getting special items back, alright? But I want a level up system, so you can level up your card pieces by playing as them often, you can level up your characters, which gives them better stats if you play as them often, enough, like, that would be a great, 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 great thing to add. For us longtime Mario Kart fans, like, for me, I have played Mario Kart a long time. And I just think that at some point it's gonna get boring having just new characters and new tracks from the game. If they got added of one game every two games or something. Like obviously uh, the addition of card customization was great for the addition. And so the characters they've been able to play with, they really need they really need to add some sort of drive to play the game, making your characters as good as they can be. That is a drive to play the game. Maybe if you play with a track enough, it like, you know, you can unlock harder game modes, maybe a mission mode, you can unlock characters, unlock card pieces by doing some achievements, unlock new tracks for doing some achievements, there should be drive to play the battle mode. Maybe some benefits to the actual main racing, like new uh, unlocking items if you play the battle mode enough. Like, that sort of thing would be so amazing. Maybe you can unlock more bigger CCs, but like the tracks that are scaled up to be longer and bigger. You can add up to like 100 characters or something on a track at once. Like, that would be so cool. If you, and like if the tracks are scaled up to be really massive to make it so chaotic. Like, that would be so cool. Turn off certain gimmicks, turn on certain gimmicks. Maybe a card maker. Like, there's so many other things that they could do to Mario Kart to make it super fun and unique. Each Mario Kart game has its own thing, but I am dreaming that this next Mario Kart game will be the different one. It will be the one that we've been all waiting for. And I'll be the all running Mario Kart game. I can't be the only one that's Mario Kart game. I'm excited to see what it offers, but I think if it doesn't, if it doesn't have some sort of achievement system or unlock system, or at least a drive to play the game, I'm hoping that it does not. Because if I die, it's because I don't want to play the game. If you don't want to play the game, there might not be a game, you know? Obviously, the main reason playing with friends and family is part of the charm of the game, obviously. 
pretty big thing, racing against other local people, but maybe if you could, there, there'd be combo levels, you know, like, easy combo, like, the faster difficulties, you can actually choose easy combos, hard combos, like, you can battle in versus mode. The CC should just be how fast you are. You know, the characters should, they should just be, the CC should just be how fast you are, not how hard the is. Because of our difficulty, the combo just shout you later, but you don't have an item saved up, you move, and they just spam, they're super powerful, lightning, and I hate the lightning. You should be able to also kind of, it should be kind of smash those, like, disable some items. So, like, you disable the blue, you disable the blue, you disable the blue one, the blue shell, you disable, or you can just come right with no items. You can come blind, you can come right with no items, no? I don't know, no, shells on, or maybe even more translation, you can toggle on and off, or you can do a mode like, I think it was suggested in the song, it's um, you do laps, okay? There's like, how many characters on the field? Laps. So, like, if there's 10 characters on the track, you lap around, and lap around, and lap around, and whoever's in last place will lap around, gets eliminated. Each lap, and whoever's the last character on the um, yeah, so I think just a simple mode, just new modes, new things to do. Turn off smart steering and fat and all its already, no more steers. I don't think we don't have to play the game. And if you're playing Mario Kart, you want to play Mario Kart. Like, you don't want to... If you're playing Mario Kart, you want to play Mario Kart. You don't want to have the game play itself, you know? Alright guys, so we're going on a walk today, just kind of like, um, the uh, Mr. Clay plus Game Farmer 3D World video. So I'll be back with more Mario Kart in a bit, guys. I, I just take my watch, by the way. Okay guys, we're back with the video. Guys, we're back with the video. Let's get straight into it. Again. straight back into the video yes we were on a walk first we ate lunch and then we went on a walk like weird we are all right so guys gamer brought up a very good point mario maker 3d Everybody's been running it, but would Nintendo actually do it? Good question. I actually have no clue if they would do it. Because either they do a 3D game with the 2D elements of 3D DLC, or they do Mario 3, but the 3D elements become as DLC. After the game they published, everybody's probably sick of it. Everybody's sick of it, and then they're just like, oh, it's a DLC. How are they with Mario Chessences? Like, everybody's writing the game, and then they just tack on DLC. They're trying to get people to play, like, oh, you're worth it, Nintendo. It's just makes sense, you know? <sighs> I'm just really excited for the Mario Ball game. I think it's gonna be fun. I've been really super fun playing the Mario Ball game. I don't think one Mario Ball game better, and I really like it. That was one of the DS, the 3DS, and I really didn't have a riff on what was a quality game. So, you know, I really didn't know what quality games were, so that's why I like that one. Mario Kart is probably a game that needs a lot of skill. If you're not skilled in the game, you're gonna be left behind, especially when you're bigger and harder to close. Definitely harder to close. Premier mode just follow the track. Because honestly, with Mario Kart, you have to memorize the track, and Premier mode just follow the tracks. Did I have to talk about? Yeah, what? Oh, that was it. Cheeky, cheeky bitch. Cheeky bitch. I'm winning, buddy. Okay, Wayne, let's do it then. Alright guys, alright guys, alright guys. You're
videos, guys. And then we're on a video. And that's the end. So, alright, guys, that's the end of this very quick video. I'm gonna get out of this chair. Oh, shit. It's hard to get out of the chair sometimes. But, anyways, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe. And, yeah. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll make sure to watch the tea review, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!